to be David Melloway and uh, Johnston Ronshold. Getting them going down in turn number four. Great looking start, green flag. It's going to be an even race down into turn number three. Metalway working right through the middle of the speedway. Justin Russell upstairs. It's going to be Russell showing away here in lap number one. Todd McLean setting a tight third, followed by the 11P of Kurt Potter. Derek Henson now challenging Potter for that fourth spot. Once again, an even race off turn number four, but it's Russell with a head of steam down the front stretch. Continuing to show the way here at lap number two. Metalway working the bottom of the speedway. Todd McCoy searching high and low for speed from the seven car. Close call deep in the field. Chuck Metalway and Jamie Carter just about trade paint off of turn number two. But Eric Henson working under Potter. This time down in turn number four. Great race for position. Still Potter by half a car. Out front. Justin Russell continuing to show the way as he stretches it out a few car lengths over the 14 of Melloway and Todd McCoyne. Continuing to be a great door-to-door -door battle for the fourth position. Still Potter at the stripe. Henson a little better off turn number two, but Potter the superior line exiting turn number four. Henson once again racing alongside Potters. The race even into turn number three. This time Henson able to pick up the throttle, but still the 11 P of Potter wins the race back to the stripe as they are locked up in a great battle. Meanwhile, the 12 of Justin Russell racing his way. Oh, big trouble. The 14 X of Melloway off the pace. Big plume of smoke out of the left header and Melloway headed for the infield. Todd McCoy inherits the number two position as he'll race his way around Van Lake turn number four. Out front, it is Russell continuing to motor through the field as he races alongside the 38 of Stephen Potter into turn number three. Well, it's going to be Russell by cleanly. Russell in search of his third feature victory of the season. Well, it's here at the Lake Ozark Speedway. Absolutely showing a fast way around here tonight as he has put a straightaway on the coin. Best race on the Speedway continues to be from now the third position as Henson once again looks low side of Kurt Potter. Turn number four. Trouble the 38 of Stephen Potter exits, makes his way cleanly to the infield. Our leaders continue to race on as Russell now Closing on Nitro, Ricky Kimberlin here in lap number 13. Number three machine, Jamie Carter, a long-time modified racer, has been on the sidelines for several years, made his debut with us at Lake Ozark Speedway last night. Hanson now will try his luck upstairs as he follows Potter through that heavy cushion down in turns three and four. Well, Justin Russell now working under Kimberlin. He'll clear off turn number four. Russell now sets his sights on the three of Carter, turn number two. Kurt Potter, Derek Henson closing on the 7X of McCoy for the runner up position. This one continues to heat up down the stretch. Out front, a bit of clean air for race leader Justin Russell. The 70 of Vandelik now pulls his run to the infield. Dwayne Vandelik out of this one here, just a few laps short of the finish. Well, that battle for the runner-up spot heats up. Here comes Henson working the low side turn number four. Just about dead even this time at the stripe. He and Potter give chase to that 7X of the coin. Give it to Henson now finally able to make a move on Potter. Henson now working under McCoy turn number four. Great race for the runner-up spot. It's going to be McCoy able to hold him off here at the flag's dead. Out front it is Russell continuing the motor on the field. Henson riding that low line out of turn number two. He'll take the second position from the coin. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah. Woo -woo. Well, Henson.
Johnson has got it motoring here in the closing laps as he's finally able to make a move on McCoy to take over the runner up position. Justin Russell continuing to get it going here this evening as he is working lap number 20 this time. We've got five to go. Well, only a caution flag is going to give our racers a chance at this leader as Russell has established himself the fastest car into Lake Ozark Speedway this evening as he continues to stretch it out of the field. He has just about exactly one half of a lamp over Henson McQueen and Potter. Ricky Kimberly lock up in a great battle with Jamie Carter as they'll race side by side into turn number three. Well, the laps continue to wind down as Henson now reaching for the white flag. Lap number 23. This time we have got two to go, two to go. flag flying this time. Russell with only one to go. Kimberlane finally able to make a move on Jamie Carter for a position. Carter battling back. This all happening right in front of Henson off turn number four. Well, our checker flag's going to be flying high this time. Give it to the 12J Johnston Russell feature winner. Well, it's going to be Derek Henson right the low line off turn number four to a runner-up finish here in tonight's feature event. Todd McLean, Kurt Potter, your top four. Oh, and trouble here at the finish. The 7X of Todd McCoyne huffing and puffing. A big plume of smoke here on the back straightaway. Well, stretching out his point. Lead over your raised lawn and landscaping late models for the third time this season. It's the 12G Justin Russell. A birthday boy yesterday. A great way to celebrate that birthday weekend with us with a big W here tonight. Well, great race, the runner-up position going out to the 27 of Derek Henson, third. The 7X of Todd McQueen and rounding out your top four, the 11P of Kurt Potter. Well, we'll send it down to Lake Ozark Speedway Victory Lane. Big Ed Franco to get a word with tonight's late model feature winner, Justin Russell. everybody getting out of the car the number 12 that is Justin Russell hey he's a little thirsty right now Justin you did a way over job bud he was on it yeah I, uh, I can't really catfish here I like the top so uh that's just the way it goes, you know. Everybody loves the top. You know it looks exciting when you're on the top, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. When you're on the top, it's just a lot more fun. And uh, I might have been a little hard on the car tonight. She's uh, She got a little warm. But, uh, boy, I got, a, I got a really good race team. I got a really good race car. Uh, I can't thank my mom and dad enough. Uh, I want to thank all my sponsors, Taycon TMI, Coastal Electric, Bogey Sports Bar, White Glove Inspection, K and Z Construction, Galen's Auto Body. Galen, if you're in the stands, thank you. And uh, let's see, Crease and Racing Engines. And and I got to tell you what, that Billy Moyer Jr. He just something, boy. He just keeps helping me keep parking down here. I heard that he's been helping you out quite a bit, and he's really done a good job. Well, congratulations on your win tonight. Hey, it's on all good, hasn't it? Oh yeah. All Three right. In a row. Three in a row, buddy. Everybody, give him a round of applause at number twelve. That is Justin Russell. Right, 
Well, of course, the racing business, a family affair with the Russell family. They continue their winning ways with us here to Lake Ozark Speedway. Justin Russell stretching his point lead in your raised lawn and landscaping late model action. Well, your passing Bob Modified feature heading tracks ahead. It is going to be a 20 lapper, 20 lapper. Our feature lineup will find the 29 Dalton Keith of Stover, the 8 of Dylan McCallum of Urbana outside row number one. Row two defending champ the 50-70 Earl.